Today we're going to work on this project while we're waiting for our, waiting for our pump. Uh, I power washed everything off here and it's, there's some more uh, clear coat on here. So what I'm going to do is take a grinder or a uh, sanding disc and try and get that off. So let me go get everything prepared and we'll get after it. Alright, we got all our stuff where we need to go. Got our mask, got our glasses, got our gloves. I hope this little machine works. It should. Brand new pair of gloves. We had a little accident first day. Uh, we won't go into that one. back when I'm down here done just bring it back for a little quick second just to let you know what I'm using here I've got a black and decker little rotary pal uh, palm sander and uh, I'm using 80 grit an 80 grit disc uh, and it's chewing it off pretty good so I would just thought I'd let you know that and uh, we'll bring you back in, in a bit. Okay, just an update. Uh, about 50% done. And I uh, had to change sanding discs. I about wore that one out. So we're going to give uh, 100 grit. I have no more 80. So we're going to give a 100 grit a shot here and see what happens. So. Anything exciting, I'll let you know. Oh, well, we're about two thirds done. I got about uh, six more boards to go. There's one board that's, two boards actually, that are right in the tough inside corner there that the uh, sander won't be able to get in right here. I just can't get in that one board. There's more pressure I put here, it hits at this one. So I'm going to end up taking this board out and that board out, and I'll just sand them, sand them on the flat, and then I'll put them back in. So, other than that, everything is uh, pretty straightforward in the sanding department. Uh, one thing that I have to say, using that pad, pad and uh, orbital sander is uh or the revolving sander or the spinning sander or whatever it's not orbital but uh it vibrates and spins at the same time as i think i showed you before the diablo diablo brand discs far better than any other of the uh, sandpaper that i have in the black and decker brand and uh, and whatever off brand the diablo seems to do the best it's uh Seems like it's got a little bit thicker of a coating on it, and it's uh, the abrasiveness stands up a little longer. So, I highly recommended those. Unfortunately, I only had one, 
So, all right, well, I'm gonna continue. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. I'm just gonna go now and get, uh, get a scraper, scrape off all the big stuff in between if there is anything. And uh, wipe it down. All right. So we got the sanding done. Okay. And this shit in between. on the top there. The sun ended up hitting it straight on on all the other uh, slats and it had to really held it out of there. Nothing really left. It all pretty much flaked off.
get me a rag. And we're back. Wipe this down. All right, I'll give it uh, the once over to clean. We got uh, some nutmeg satin that is uh, good for outdoor. It's not that warm out today, it's about 68, a little breeze, which is good. And I'm gonna paint the whole thing the same color. Put on a nice thin coat. Alright, you get the idea. I'm going to keep going. And I'll be back when I'm closer to done. Alright. That's one coat. Coverage on it is, uh, I don't know, not the best. I would probably say rolling paint would give you better penetration. But, uh, I wanted to try and spray this to try and get in between the cracks better so it wouldn't look like thick brush marks and runs. 
in between. So uh, right now it's the wood soaking in. It was bare wood, so of course it's going to take a lot of paint. But I figured it's going to take at least no more, no less than two coats, but for sure three, maybe even four, depending on how that wood soaks that paint up. So whatever, for three dollars and some change for a can of paint, it's uh, inexpensive and it should uh, eventually seal the wood and start to uh, build paint up on top of the wood so we'll see as we keep going all right three coats that's uh no it's two full coats did a kind of a spot coat and then two full coats and i got uh about quarter can left i figure after I let this dry real nice and dry, I'm going to hit it with two more coats, two more full coats, two more cans. We do it. These really dry spots here really suck it up. So. I think that'll be good for today. Let it sit for overnight, let it soak in real good. And then uh, we'll give it another couple of coats tomorrow if I happen to get some paint. Later.